Hi, and congratulations on choosing Journal Talks Premium, the institutional version of Journal Talks. In this video, I'll show you how to make the most of the service so that you can help your researchers keep up to date with the very latest scholarly papers as soon as they have been published. You already know how important it is for your researchers to find the latest research being published throughout the world. You know that the most recent papers are often the most vital ones. You also know that each year, millions of new research papers are published in tens of thousands of scholarly journals, subscription journals, open access and hybrid journals, and that it can be difficult and time-consuming for your researchers to find all the new relevant articles they need to read. Fortunately, Journal Talks Premium is designed to empower all your researchers to discover and be alerted to the very latest articles, even researchers who don't have the time to set things up themselves, because Premium lets you do it for those people. It's also designed so that your library or information service gets the credit it deserves for providing the service. But first, some background information about Journal Talks Premium. Tables of contents from over 23,000 journals, including 7,000 open access titles, are included. It covers more than 2,000 different publishers, including all the major ones, and it covers all subjects. All your researchers now have access to Journal Talks Premium. The system will recognize their institutional email addresses when they sign into the service and present them with your institutional version of Premium. And for those who want to use a different address, you can add them yourself. Journal Talks Premium knows which journals you subscribe to and provides links through to the full text from the website and in email alerts. It lets you monitor how your researchers are using the service by themselves and you can get various usage reports. It has enhanced search and browse features. Your researchers will be able to search or browse for journals of interest, view the latest tables of content of any journal, and follow journals and get email notifications when a new issue is published, with links in those emails to the actual articles. It lets you create alerts and do the personalization for those of your researchers who may not want to do it themselves. There's a choice of bibliographic management systems, and it lets you brand the service so that your researchers know that your library is behind it, so that you get the credit you deserve. So let's look at all of these things in more detail. Because I want to show you the service from your perspective, I've logged in as you would do, as the administrator of your own current awareness service for your researchers. However, this is a demonstration version of Journal Talks Premium, so all the names are not real. The administrator's name in this demo version is super.journaltalks and the service welcomes you. In the center is a description of the service. As the administrator you can edit this text to suit your needs and put in a mail to link if you want. I'll show you how to edit this later. In this demo version there are only 104 subscribed journals but your version would have a lot more. Remember only registered researchers from your own institution will see the version you create of Journal Talks Premium. Over on the right, where it says Demo, is where you'll put your own institutional or library logo. And underneath it, that's where there'll be a list of your subscribed journals. Over on the left is a search box. Journal Talks Premium has more search options than the free version. You can see that you and your researchers can limit searches in various ways to OA or subscribed or OA and subscribed journals or followed journals. You and your researchers can also limit searches for articles within a half a million in the database in the same ways. Scrolling down you can see a list of journals that you yourself follow. The green icons mean that those are journals your library subscribes to or open access titles. I'll just click on the first journal. Here's the most recent tables of contents with Symago and H index ratings. You click on the article title to get to the full text. Back to the home page.
At the bottom left is a list of most followed journals at this demo version. If I click on View All, you can see an alphabetical list of all of the, the titles that are followed by the researchers at demo. Over on the right is the last date that content was added for each journal. And if I click twice on Followers, you can see the most popular titles. Back to the home page again. So far, everything I've shown you can be seen in your version of Premium by all your registered researchers as well as yourself. Apart from the list of journals you follow, and your own saved searches and saved articles. Your researchers will instead see the lists that each of them follows and their own saved searches etc. Now I want to show you a few of the admin features. These are only available to you and not your researchers. I get to these by clicking on admin in the top right corner. This is the main admin page. It gives a list of all the make-belief researchers who are using this demo version. Your list will be much longer. You can see their email addresses, how many journals they're following, and who prefers to get email alerts weekly or monthly. Most of these people would have registered themselves. In this demo version, they have a demo.co.uk email address. But in your case, it would be an email address with your own institutional domain. And the system will automatically recognize them and present them with the appropriate premium version of Journal Talks. When your researchers register with an email address from your institution, they will appear here. But what about your researchers who are too busy to set things up themselves? If I click on Edit, you can see how you can add a researcher's email address to the service. Once you've done that, they'll receive an email message telling them they've been registered for Journal Talks. You can also use this method to add any of your researchers who may want to use a non-institutional email address, such as Gmail or Yahoo. Let's just try adding a researcher. I put an email address, press enter. And there's that new person added to the list. If we click on a researcher's record, here are the ways you can change settings, view their safe searches and see the journals they follow. You can add journals to their follow list, but they can also do this themselves if they want to. Let's change the alert frequency for this researcher, who has said she wants a weekly email digest. And save the setting. Let's look at her save searches. She has one for articles with Economic Development Africa in them. And let's look at the journals she follows. She's following 21. Let's say you know that she wants to follow the journal African Affairs. She could add this herself, of course, but she's asked you to do it for her. So, we search for African Affairs. In the search box. There it is. ticket and now it's been added to her follow journals. She's now following 22. So that's how you can add a researcher and edit their profile if they want you to. I keep saying this but they can also do these things for themselves. If your library has taken out subscriptions to new journals you want to add them to your list of subscribed journals in Journal Talks Premium. You can do this over on the right of the admin page. 
let's say I want to add a journal and I know the ISSN number for it. I add that number in the box and press enter and it will now appear on the list of subscribed journals. I can also add new subscriptions by name of journal. Now I'll click on Service Configuration. This is where you can add or change the welcome message, add or change the logo and choose the reference management uh, service. Let's say I want to change the contact name in the welcome message. I just put in the new name. And save. Full text access is where you can add details of your resolver and so on. Email alerts is where you can set various defaults. And accounts is where you can allow or disallow your researchers to self-register. Let's close this window. Within the admin interface, there's a link to reports. You can get various reports, a consolidated list of all followed journals, a list of researchers with the journals they follow, and you can also get a report on how your researchers are using the service. There's actually quite a bit more to Journal Talks Premium, but I think we've covered most of the important features. What I hope I've done today is show you how you can empower all your researchers to discover and be alerted to the very latest articles and get some credit for your library when you do so. If you want more information, click on Customize. There's an overview of Journal Talks Premium and detailed descriptions of the functionalities. And of course, remember that you can email your contact at Journal Talks for help at any time. I'm sure that you and your researchers will find Journal Talks Premium an excellent current awareness tool. Thank you.